Hey everyone, Jose here from Rivian Tracker. Rivian just released 2023.46 to all Rivian vehicles. So I want to walk through and show you some of the fun new things in this software update. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in the truck. I have the infotainment screen here open up. So first off, some new stuff that have been changed and that is now you have the ability to add stops to your navigation routing. So let's go ahead and start navigating somewhere here. So let's say I wanna to go to uh, the airport. So we'll go ahead and route to the airport. Okay, so that gives me the route, pretty typical, nothing new there. Uh, you have some minor uh, aesthetic changes here, but now you can click on this little arrow here to add a stop. And I'm gonna show you, there's a couple of ways to do this, but let's say I wanna add a stop. So let's say I click here, and let's say that I want to stop at Home Depot before I go to the airport. So now it's going to adjust uh, and, and all that. So right, it shows me my stop up there. So I'm going to hit add stop. So now it has added the, st the airport as well as Home Depot. But let's say that I want to go to Home Depot first. I can just drag it. So now we can drag around things and it's great. And I can keep adding stops, right? I can say, let's see, where do I want to go? Let's say I want to go to... Uh, this location here right now it's added it and again I can make adjustments and move it around wherever I like which is really cool so I'm gonna hit done so now it's calculating my new route let's give it a moment here to determine that there you go so it's calculated my route with times as well as arriving uh, miles so let's say I hit go and now it's all set to go Again, it's showing you the first leg of the journey, the second leg of the journey, oops, focus, and then the third leg of the journey. Now, I can come in here and click this little plus sign and add another stop if I wanted to, right? I can add Bath and Body Works, for example, because who doesn't want to get some candles? So now you've got details saying stop at it. And so now, if I look here, it's showing you the whole route, right? Right now it is taking us to the different locations. So from here, I can scroll down and see, okay, first stop, Bath & Body Works, second stop, Home Depot, that's the third stop, and then to the airport, okay? I can hit this up arrow here and it will show me all of the stops once again. And again, I can make adjustments. So let's say I wanna to go to Bath & Body Works after Home Depot. I can hit done. It will calculate the new route for me and then it will start letting me go there, which is great. So that is a wonderful new feature uh, on the 2023.46, which I know I love. Um, and then of course, if you come here to the arrow and let's say you don't wanna go anymore to Bath & Body Works, you can just swipe away and it goes away. Very similar to uh, using an iPhone or Android device. Um, you know, you're, it's the same kind of mindset, so it's great. So boom, there you go. So now that's in release. So we'll go ahead and end that and navigation and that was kind of showing off some of the fun new navigation changes uh, that Rivian has brought which is adding stops so that's wonderful of course this is also applicable for like charging stops so if I zoom out here a little bit and select this charging uh, electrify America and hit go I can still go here and hit the plus sign and pick another location I want to go so um, I can go back to the airport, add a stop. <clears throat> I can also hit the arrow and say, I want to go to the airport first, then charge, or I want to charge first, then go to the airport. And you know, it will calculate and do everything as necessary, which is really nice. I'm going to hit cancel. We'll hit end. Again, when you hit end, it either says, hey, do you want to remove that stop or end the full navigation, which is really nice. And then this little card is here saying, hey, do you want to resume? It goes away eventually, or you can just swipe it down and it goes away. Now, another change. If we go into the settings here, uh, Rivian has introduced uh, two new little features in here that uh, probably as an end user, you may not use a lot, but they're in here anyway. So if we go to vehicle and we go to service, uh, there's two new things in here. Number one, is service mode uh, which when enabled will show you this bar that says service and pretty much what that does is it turns off the motion cam the drive cam as well as any mobile commands coming from your phone app 
Uh, this is for uh, the service centers to use or mobile service to use when they are doing work on your vehicle. And so um, once you disable it, everything comes back to normal and all good to go. Uh, again, from a user perspective, not pretty much anything you're going to be really using too often. The other option that Rivian has added is called Clear Settings. Remove personal information and preferences from your vehicle. So this is pretty much designated so that if you're selling the vehicle or if you're a loaner and you want to clear out information, um, this is how Rivian will let you clear all your data so that there's nothing attached to it. So when you click on it, it, there's a little prompt there with a QR code saying, hey, you're selling your vehicle, you know, make sure to follow these full instructions uh, for reselling your vehicle. And then here it tells you what's expected, right? So all your information such as saved data, radio stations, gear guard videos, uh, hotspots, languages, paired garages, Bluetooth devices, services such as Alexa or Spotify, they will all be logged out. Um, and so uh, that would be really easy. Now remember, this will not remove the driver profile or any paired keys, including your phone. So your phone and your keys, they will all still be uh, paired. So you can still get into your vehicle even after clearing all this data. Um, to do that, to clear your data, to get rid of your driver profile, you'll want to go to this QR code or go to rivian.com slash resell dash help, uh, which will guide you through all that. And it will show you what you need to do to uh, let Rivian know that you've sold your vehicle and you no longer own it. So that's a really cool little setting. And, you know, it, there's two steps to it, right? You have to click learn more and then you have to go and click clear settings. So this is not something that you can accidentally hit, which is nice. Um, so, you know, you're not, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll go to the about here. As usual, you know, you can see all the data in here. For some people, this update has finally fixed um, the interior showing incorrectly, which is nice. Apparently, that was something some people had. I did not personally have that. But people who maybe had the Ocean Coast interior or whatnot, where it was not reflecting correctly, it will now, which is very, very nice. Um, so those are the changes to the infotainment side of things, uh, amongst other things such as bug fixes, and other little things that Rivian is always working on. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the road now here, and I'm gonna show you another really cool feature that Rivian introduced in 2023.46, which is definitely a quality of life fix. And with it, I hope that means that some additional stuff will come in the future, but let's go ahead and hit the highway because we need to be on a mapped road, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it does. Okay. You find me in the highway here. So one of the new things that comes in 2023.46 is that if you have driver plus engage or highway assist, as you can see, I do now, right? Keeping your hand, you should always keep your hand on the wheel. Uh, but, you know, if you want to let go for a second, you can. Um, before, if you wanted to change lanes, you could do that. You change lane, turn the turn signal on they would disengage uh, highway assist. But now, if I put my turn signal on, a new animation pops up showing that my truck is moving lanes. I then get back into the center of the lane and driver plus or highway assist re-engages automatically without me having to turn the turn signal off or having to re-engage uh, highway assist on my own. So let me show you that again. I'm gonna switch lanes, go back to the right lane here so as you can see this cool animation and I'm gonna center myself, boom, back into it. That is awesome. Guys, I don't think you understand how much of a quality of life change that is, um, especially for uh, highway driving and all that because it is really neat. So I think that is the, uh, the future of highway assist slash driver plus. It's gonna be hopefully one day we'll be able to just put the turn signal on and be able to um, automatically have the truck change lanes for you, right? And uh, and that would be awesome. So that was a really cool introduction of 2023.46, uh, continuing to improve the owner, the Rivian vehicle with new software updates. And yeah, I mean, mistakes are gonna happen. You know, when we look back at the last update, 2023.42, um, you know, there was a mistake in the release, but you know what, Rivian fixed it uh, via software update. We didn't have to go into a dealership. We didn't have to do anything weird. It was all great. 
and uh, and yeah, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you, Ravi, for that, and thank you for introducing this amazing quality of life change here. All right, and that's it. That's uh, 2023.46. Uh, there's some other bug fixes and stuff in there. Another quality of life fix uh, or update is that uh, now if you have the windshield wipers going and it's raining and you open one of the doors, the windshield wipers will actually pause, one of the front doors, will actually pause so that the passenger or driver do not get wet, which is really nice. And there's a bunch more. So as usual, make sure to check out uh, Rivian.software, the website, uh, for all the release notes for Rivian. Um, and uh, yeah, keep posting, keep following on social media. And uh, I'm excited to see what new future stuff Rivian brings to their software. They just keep innovating and bringing awesome things. And not every update has to be big and massive and have tons of things in it. It's the little things, the bug fixes that, that make the difference for Rivian. So thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys at the next one.